Hi, this is Marie, and I'm back again today with another video. So I told you all I would try and upload something on Monday and Wednesday. However, this did not happen. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm coming to you on a Friday, um, as is normal. And today, I wanted to talk about my surgeries and other medical experiences with cerebral palsy. Now, I've only really had surgery done on my eyes, as far as I know. And so I guess I'll we'll start there. Um, when I was two, I went in to have my muscles in my eyes loosened. When I was born, my eyes were crossed. My muscles in my eyes were too tight. Um, and so they, they did loosen the muscles in my eyes. Um, but what ended up happening was they loosened the muscles in my left eye a bit too much. And so um, from the time I was two from the t and until I was nine, I had a lazy eye in my left eye. Um, and then when I was nine, I went in to have that corrected again with another surgery, so they tightened the muscles in my eyes and corrected that. Um, when I, that surgery when I was nine is the one surgery, the one real medical experiences, experience that I have real vivid memories of, um, just because of the, the significance of, of that whole ordeal. Um, however, when I was eight, when I was nine, um, it was this period of, of medical experiences for me. I would have m my legs uh, looked at by a specialist, um, and I ended up having uh, to go to uh, what they call gate lab at the children's hospital. They hooked all these wires up to me, um, and they had me walk around a bunch of times around the room um, to monitor how I walk. Um, and uh, then that started a whole process of, of trying to correct my walk, trying to make it better, uh, trying to make it so my, my, my left foot when it, when it turned in every time I walked, um, correct my limp. Um, and, and so I, I went to physical therapy. I did, I tried Botox. Um, you know, I had all these, these doctor's visits that I had to go to, which was really a pain because I, I missed a lot of school at this time. I, I always was taken out of school to go to these appointments and and that was real interesting to me because I, I had never gone to the doctor so many times in a year. Uh, but anyways, um, so bo Botox um, didn't really work. I just remember getting a bunch of shots. Um, and, and that really hurt. Uh, and I just remember feeling like crap afterwards. I would just walk out and I didn't know where I was. And, uh, I, yeah. Um, <laughs> now we're doing that again, uh, hopefully. <laughs> and, um, um, stre uh, physical therapy, I would have to stretch. I never really liked to do it. Um, because I didn't want to wake up an hour early to have to stretch every single morning. It really was a pain. Um, you know, they would send me home with all these bands and they're like, oh, stretch out your hamstrings, do whatever. I'm like, I don't want to do this. Like, I'm, I'm looking back at it now. It's like, I'm an eight-year-old kid. I'm a nine-year-old kid. What else did you want me to think? Like, I, I didn't think it was fun. Um, and so I... With my own stubbornness, I, I kind of shot down that whole thing. I was like, no, I don't want to do this, um, which made my parents and my grandparents rather confused because they're like, come on, you could correct your walk. And I'm like, uh, I'm fine with the way I walk. I don't want to do this. Anyways, I'm kind of going off here. Um, but yeah, eight, nine real medical experiences right there. I would have to and just do everything um, and uh, go to the doctors all the time. And fortunately enough, um, I, I stopped going by the time I was around 12. The, the visits started to get a little less frequent. Um, my parents were like, okay, we can, we can put an end to this uh, because you really don't want to do this. Um, however, as I've said before, um, the age of 14 really marked a turning point for me in terms of, 
of pain and in terms of how I experienced cerebral palsy and what I felt, um, it became more significant to me um, and more observable, I guess you could say. I, again, I started having real pain in my knees, hips, um, and, and joints, um, just, just, you know, my, my hands. Um, I had never experienced that before. And, uh, um, yeah, and it was at this time that I thought maybe I should go get that checked out. And I mean, my, my feet, my, my knees, my hips, just a lot of things were bugging me. Um, but to be honest, I, I haven't, I, I haven't gotten, gotten checked out. And I know it's something I should, uh, get done. I'm, I'm just, I don't really want to incorporate the, the, the time it takes to do that, especially right now. Um, when I was younger, like 16, uh, you know, I would tell my mom, you know, my, my feet are really hurting, my, my knees are really hurting me, uh, my hips are really hurting me, I think I need to go get this checked out, and she's like, no, no, you're just, you're pulling my leg, you're not, you're not going, uh, I don't want to spend the time, uh, going back and forth. And, and so I, I haven't gotten anything checked out on that. Again, I should, um, but I feel like, okay, now I'm in college, I don't really have the time to do this. Um, I'm not really in the greatest location at school to get that checked out. I don't really know what all of that entails, um, but I'm going off on a tangent right now. And, um, I think I should end this. Uh, <laughs> And so I will sign off and I will say uh, goodbye and I will see you in the next video. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, opinions, suggestions, anything, go ahead and comment down below. Uh, otherwise, I will say goodbye.